Have you heard of yarn bombing? Had you heard of it before this morning? Not before this morning. OK, so no. what it is is when knitting enthusiasts decorate local landmarks with their wonderful creations. I suppose it's like photo bombing. You know, when you jump in someone's photo, but now you're jumping... You're not jumping on post box. There's a pattern emerging anyway. Look, we'll explain. You're decorating them. A bunch yes. of graffiti artists armed with knitting needles are weaving their way across the UK, leaving handmade hats on post boxes. So, you want to know what it looks like? Looks like this. Some of them are very, very ornate and very detailed, aren't they? Brilliant. A lot uh, of absolutely detail. Absolutely brilliant. Uh, journalist Belinda Goldsmith spotted some creations while on her daily exercise during lockdown. Then it sparked an obsession. So she joins us now alongside amateur knitter Sue Moon. Beside a post box as well. Good morning to you both, Belinda and Sue. Um, Sue, I have to ask you, I'm coming to you first, because I know that you and your craft group were responsible for the... What do we call them? The toppers, I suppose, the, on that post box. Tell me how that came about. Uh, yes. So the Rice Flip and East Coast um, Arts and Crafts Society decided to start small with just a few post boxes, and we're getting bigger and bigger, and this is a recent creation. Um, in honour of the Royal Mail Sorting Office that's just behind us. Oh, that's so lovely. And how many you. have you done as a group? Um, the, at the moment, there's probably around 40, 45 in the local area. We started with about 15, and it's, it's I think another three joined us yesterday, so quite a few now. Sue, so I notice you're, you're holding on to a, the, the, your knitting item in your hands there. Just talk us through what that one is. It's a worry, isn't it? That's a teddy bear's picnic. <laughs> They're enjoying the sunshine. I like the um, detail. So it's actually situated near a park. Oh, quite right. And Sue, I love the detail in your knitting. So those are sandwiches. Uh, and and a, is that a bit of cake as well? I'm afraid it is, yes. Yes. <laughs> How long did it take to do that? Um, probably. <laughs> Probably took me a couple of weeks, actually, but I'm not the fastest by any stretch. Sounds fast to um, me. Belinda, let's talk to you. So you were out um, just taking a bit of exercise during lockdown and you spotted these. What did you think? Well, to be honest, I stopped and I laughed. I thought, what a funny thing, a woolly topper on a post box. And I took a photo and I sent it to a few friends and they all said, oh, yeah, we've seen those. And I thought, when did this become a thing? And I did a bit of research and I realised that this was something that had gone nationwide during lockdown. It had gone viral. And what a very British way to deal with one of the most challenging times that we faced. Mm. I thought this has got to be something we do a book on. And I managed to find dozens and dozens of knitters and crochets across the country, all ages, all walks of life, and talk to them about their experiences during lockdown. So it's not just about the knitting, it's about how people cope, really, during this time. But, Linda, can we do some technicals, though? These have been allowed to remain on the post boxes with certain conditions, haven't they? Well, well, you know, it's a bit... There's a few little things around post box toppers that are very funny. First of all, are they legal? You ask Royal Mail, and Royal Mail, actually, they love them. They, they say as long as they're not blocking the slot and not blocking the door for the postie, then that's not so bad. They don't really mind. But some people have decided to go anonymous in doing their toppers, so that around the country you've got anonymous graffiti knitters who are making toppers under the cover of darkness. They sneak out and they put them on the boxes and nobody knows who does them. And the Grand Master of all anonymous knitters is in Syston in Leicestershire, the Syston Knitting Banksy. 
and she or he, we don't know who it is, made the most amazing topper last November for Remembrance Day of a World War I soldier, actually a soldier from that village who came back from the war. It's all knitted, the whole profile, surrounded in poppies. It's absolutely breathtaking. Some of these postbox toppers are amazing. And that's why I thought it's worth recording this in a book, Lockdown Letterboxes, which is all money goes to Young Minds, the UK charity Young Minds. Uh, Sue, do you want to just clarify something? Uh, I apologise for my ignorance here. Crocheting or knitting? Wh which is it that you do, Sue? I both. Um, I do knitting, but the toppers are done in both. Um, and both works equally well. Well, that, I mean, I love that creation you've done there, and I'm sure the Royal Mail, it's like a tribute to the Royal <laughs> Mail, so that's nice as well. Uh, thank you both yes. very much. Um, already, people are sending in pictures. I've never, I've never seen one on a post box. I haven't either. Not where I live, and I'm quite upset I haven't. I'd like to, but already someone sent one in um, with a cat on top. It's very lovely. That was Delith who sent it in from Trefnant, Denbighshire in North Wales. Well, maybe so we get a chance to send them in. Those yeah, if you see some, send them in. It'd be lovely to see them. Is it if you like knitting, which you do, uh, have a look at this. Lots of knitting coming up. Yeah. Yes, are you absolutely. ready? Absolutely, yeah. Watch really carefully. Learn about carefully. yarn bombing. Mm -hmm. Yarn bombing, right, it's where knitting enthusiasts decorate local landmarks with their colourful creations. Jane won't be joining you, just sort of make that really clear. <laughs> and as Charlie said, you have been sending in some fantastic pictures. So, let's start with uh, Karen, who's... Uh, Chef, what appears to be an Easter celebration topper, sort of chicks and things, chickens and bees, yes? Fabulous. Lynn sent us this one from her holiday in Southwold of a seagull sitting on top of a post box surrounded by fish. That's so cool. Sue Dixon shared this one in honour of Leicester City's FA Cup win. Very good. And Joanne Keane from Plymouth says that she's a post to herself who collects from this box that was decorated at Christmas. Here, you get the feel of it there. She says, put a smile on her face. And uh, she loves them. Apparently, the, yeah, that, that is the formal position of the, uh, the post office. Yes, as long as it doesn't ob obstruct the letterbox or the other box where they collect the letters, no problem. This one might warm your heart. Emma Hoskins sent us this gorgeous topper in honour of the late Captain Sir Tom Moore. That's very cleverly done, isn't it? And something a little different. Marilyn discovered this remarkable... Oh, my goodness, that's a bicycle. <laughs> that cat, that's just got... No, that can't be a fully knitted bicycle. It's got to be knitting surrounding a bicycle, yeah? Like a bicycle topper. Charlie, you look so confused. Well, no, I'm baffled by that. How does, it stay, how does it stay stable? I don't understand. I think it's a topper. So I think there's a bicycle and then they've knitted around it. I don't think it's just pure knitting. Well, Can someone clarify that know. for us at Carol some point? There you go, it. we're seeing it. There's no way. That's standing and everything. Carol knows. Carol used to knit, you know, once upon a time, didn't you? Did you I crochet as well? Yes, in the olden days. Yes, I, I used to. Now I'm more of a knit than a knitter, but, hey, that's a whole other story. Knit whip, <laughs> yeah. <laughs>